Hey guys, just wanted to stop by and say hello. The good news is I'm still working and getting things done for my show. The bad news is my husband's job got shut down, so they are off for a week. Which means I may not get anything done, including a tutorial. But I have today, so I'm going to put this up today. It's going to be glass. But I want to show you some of the things we're working on. So I've been making a lot of discs. Trying to figure out how to put them together here. So this is all glass. These are a couple that I put together. Well, they're kind of weird, I know. Um, I don't usually get out of my comfort zone, but I've been trying to do all kinds of weird things. And I'm thinking they're going to hang really well. So, anyways, I'm going to try something really colorful today. And I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let me set these down real quick. All right. So we're doing kind of like a yellow and a, a turquoise, which I know is an off color, but um, we're going to see what it looks like when it's done. So I thought I'd show you how it looks. I've already made one, kind of liked it, although it's really hard to see when the colors aren't produced until after they come out of the kiln. Sorry, I've got the hiccups here. So we're going to do a base of yellow. Just need a rod with a little bit of release. What I really want to do is start making glass beads that will kind of coordinate with a bunch of check glass. I have a lot of check glass, but their colors are so different. You know, they're really off compared to the glass colors I have. Although we probably have almost 200 different colors. I'm just making a, a circle. I know it's not quite circle, but I'm just making a gather here. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to start pulling out some of my check beads and seeing if we can match it up to some of the glass that I have. But for this one, we're just going to make a kind of a disc as the base. start making a little bit more rustic colors like tans and ivories and stuff like that but I've lost brain cells I can't think of anything to make at this point so now we're just kind of shoving this down into the, the roller here should get a nice roll out of it once we get all of it smoothed out. And since I have the other one, this has got to be exact. Ah, look at that. Already broke the bead release. Just started. So this is your peril of, of making beads. And the beast is unfortunately loose. So that is now trash. That is the one thing I hate about using rollers is it scrapes along the edges and it just cuts right through that release. So that's a little aggravating. You know, people see the finished product and wonder why glass beads are so expensive, but they don't see how many beads that you had to trash before you got to that one good one. Just gonna lightly put it in there. I 
was making beads where I was pulling the color down to the center and I broke almost every one and so I opted out of that design and I'm just making the dots but I'm not pulling them down at all okay so I got the size I want but now I got to make it a little thicker so hot in here today. Alright, so that looks good. Got no broken release. I'm just going to go a tad bit more. Just to make sure we're starting with a perfectly round disc. So I'm just kind of patting it down here. This should be plenty. I think I have seven. I need seven dots on top, so they got to be spaced kind of perfectly. One, two, six, oh, seven. So we're basically now just going to melt that white down and you'll see what it looks like. And then we're going to take some aqua it down but I don't want to melt it all the way. I want these to be raised. Okay so that's what we got so far. Now we're going to add white again. My hands aren't very steady as you can see. are all even. of 
transparent aqua on top. just going to melt it down not to where they're flat but kind of close to it you have to take it out every now and then okay I'm gonna do one more I lost my tweezers somewhere in this huge mess just want to make sure that this stays straight. Okay. So now we're going to take some pea green. We're going to leave this raised right on top. just so that they're round on top. That way I know they're stuck on there. All right, and that's it. So let's show you what it looks like. I know you're not gonna be able to tell. Okay, I need to somehow get this to, there we go. That's it, and you'll see the colors when they come out. And be, like I was saying before, I usually like to pull them down. So I'm going to make one more and I am going to pull them down. But I can't guarantee that the bead's going to be in one piece when I'm done. So let's go ahead and try that. And I might as well use the same color. This one right here. And I'll probably take some yellow and some aqua spacers make some teeny ones or I can use some Swarovski crystals to mix with these. Okay, I'm going to start right there. Just want to make sure we're using the same size.
probably even make one of these little spacers right here a little smaller and put dots on the outside and it can hang like that yeah it's fun when you finally get creative it's just trying to execute half of this stuff I think we're gonna try that we'll make a couple saucers and see if we can come up with something cool I know these are really off colors but said it's tough to figure out what colors to use if I had my choice everything would be southwestern or beachy all right so I think we got the size that we want careful all right so again it's going to be the same the same thing that we did before we're going to get seven dots two Ooh, he's a lot bigger than that other one three four this one's a little wonky let it harden up a minute Did I already do the green? No. taking my stringer putting it in the flame and taking it right out that way it gives me pretty consistent on the size this is 
getting sideways already. layer of aqua. Okay. So this is the tricky part. And this is where it can come undone really easy. Okay, so we're just gonna melt that down. this. I'm wondering if this might be easier for me. So this is where you kind of need your hands. No, I'm just going to use the straight one. Okay, so you're basically just going to warm up that dot. And you're going to pull it down towards the circle. opposite end so I don't distort the bead and yeah this gets really hot if it's brass it doesn't really radiate the heat all the way down but the stainless steel it does also stuck in there like on the bottom because I'm covering it anyways. I just want to get it as close as I can. I, just, I dip this in water just to cool it. Hopefully I'm not moving the camera on you. Sorry guys if I am. It's just... This is kind of a blind side right here. Because you're working from the top.
So I think we got it. Nothing broke on me. So now we're going to melt this all down. up and down. I'm just going to get it perfectly centered here. I'm going to kind of work out the little bumps on that side. And these were going flat, so... Now we're going to take that pea green that I had, that I lost, and now we're just going to put it on the side here. I don't need, I don't need that much fire, just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to hopefully, if my fingers will stay steady enough, put it right on the ends of those little things that we pulled down. Do the same on this side. same size. I've got one that's just a tiny bit small right there. And that side looks pretty good. Oh. And a little more on that one and that one. Oop. And that one. And that one. And that one. And that one. <laughs> Alright. So again, let's get the fire up so we can warm up that whole bead. pretty much stuck on the side. I'm going to add some here and since I have the the greens right at the end of the petals instead of putting the green on top I'm going to put the green in the middle of each one. size. Okay. And 
now the final warming. Oh, I'm shocked that bead did not break. I'm happy that it didn't. Unfortunately, again, this one I won't be able to show you until it comes out of the kiln. But we'll show you our design at least. Okay, so it kind of makes like a little, a little star design. And that's our bead. So I hope you like that. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to make another cane. I was hoping Sunday, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe if we can get the guys out of the house for a couple of hours, um, we'll get a chance to do that. But if not, we will see you really shortly. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys. So I got some of my beads clean. I got some spacers in there, but I have to use a smaller drill bit. So I thought I'd kind of share with you what we made for my morning session I've got one more session tonight and today should be the last day of making things unless I come up with a cool idea so the video that we did were these right here so this one looks just a little bit more round than the other one but they're pretty even so aren't those kind of cool So I will make earrings out of those. And then this is that other one that we worked on, um, the one that didn't fall apart. So that one's not too bad. And then I also made these, just some black. Let's see, those are purple. Oh, I don't like those. I think those came out a little too dark. So this is just black and white. So you could even make a necklace, you know, have them kind of just scattered in a necklace. Or you can make those as earrings. And these I made with blue, but the purple is an ugly purple, so I don't like these at all. So these will go in my little bucket to sell. These are just some apricots colors. Maybe those will be used. This one broke, so that one's trashed. And then again, some spacers. And then this was my favorite. I did this at the end. It's a little bigger. But this is a, a rose gold and a pink. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put chain through it. Like the rest of those earrings you saw. What is this? 22 gauge. So I'll probably string it like that. Maybe. Maybe. And then I'm going to add like, um, kind of like a disc. It's not going to be like that. It'll be more formed. It'll be smaller. And just put that on top, like three discs from one size to smaller. And that's just going to be a focal piece. So that's basically all I did this morning. Oh, I did a lot of spacers again, but they're a smaller hole. And so what's on my Dremel now is too big, but I got like an ocean scene and just a bunch of small um, spacers. And then let's see, what else do I have? Just to show you how many spacers I've made. So these are a ton of stuff. These are more earring or more bracelets. Um, that was with a really pretty bullseye glass. I don't know what the color was, but as you can see, you got these orange and yellows, and I just paired them off with some hibiscus flowers from Czech glass. I just got to put the spacer on that. This I got to redo. I do not like it. It's too much gold, I think. Um, I like the pearls, but I've got to change the, the bead caps. But this is the one that I made spacers for. This was an impression jasper. And I wanted to create the same colors in there. So I found some coral glass, which is what's all in that water. And I think that matches up with coral. And then I made this focal. I think I did a video on this one. And so we're going to go ahead and put this on the bottom for the focal piece. And yeah, we've got all kinds of this impression jasper. So now i got to string that tonight. Um... Here's a whole lot more discs. I mean, I've got earth colors, you know, like your purples, your browns. So I think what I'm going to do after the show 
is I'm going to make a bunch of these with a bunch of spacers. And I've got another store. I've just got to rename it. I don't like the name Creative Dork Beads. It just sounds stupid. So if you guys can come up with a name, you know, my nickname has always been Reeny ever since I was little. So I don't know if I'm just going to go Reenie's Art Jewelry, Art Beads. I, I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I was thinking of the mutts and me, or me and the mutts, because it's always me and the mutts here. So here's some more that we did, just in case we want to make a few more of those earrings. And this is another bullseye glass. This is orange marmalade. Ugh, not dropping them everywhere, but you know that they're annealed correctly when they don't crack and break on you. So... Those were another purple, I already, or orange. I made a really nice bracelet with that already. And then these are some really pretty crocus is the name of the glass. Just a really pretty lavender. These are my daughter's favorite. She told me that yesterday that she loves these. So these are using silver glass. And if you can look carefully in it, you'll see like little wisps. They kind of like ghostly. So these have got like wisps of blue and purples in it. And I wrap these with um, fine silver wire. Which gives it that nice little sparkle on the outside. And this is the other silver glass. I might have to string these so you can actually see the colors in it. That one doesn't have it. And I'll probably make a bracelet and maybe a earrings if I have enough out of this. So that one's more green. That one did give me a bunch of wisps. So this is kind of like that other one. But you can see the really, really blue wispy color inside. And that's just what silver glass does. It's just awesome. I would have loved all of them to look like this. So there's one that kind of looks like it. And... But that's going to be a really cool bracelet, I think. So that's it for me. And I'm going to go clean up the rest of my beads and then start again tonight. So maybe we have a little bit more to show. Um, you want to see all the beads that I've got? It's just stuff I've already made. Why I'm not using them, I don't know. I have leaves. Um, these are some really earthy colors using silver glass. So I'll probably make another bracelet out of that. I've got that pink silver glass. So you can see all the silver colors inside of it. Um, these are a bunch of flowers. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything with those. And these are just pairs. You know, they're either sets or pairs of two. So I've got a lot to work with. And this is a good, I don't know, maybe four inches deep of beads. And then there's these, which is just a bunch of nothings. Pretty much all orphans, you know, they either didn't turn out or I only made one, you know, of that color. And so I don't have a pair to go with them. So I figured I could try and make something, you know, like a pendant or something. If not, these will get thrown into the little container for people to buy. And I think that's it. And then this is just spacers. These are like sets of six of each color. You know, just for like if anybody wants to make jewelry and they need some spacers to go with it. So I've got all kinds of colors in here. Lots of blues and greens. I need to make a little bit more pinks and purples. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff in here. This is my favorite pink. Look at that. It's just such a pretty pink. And that's it. And I have one more container of these, but that's for people to just buy them. So we are off again. Going to go back and create a little bit more, and we will talk to you later. Bye.